BBC Match of the Day host Gary Lineker will present this year's Sports Personality of the Year tonight and has become something of a celebrity in his own right after his glittering career on the pitch. Data for Gary, 63, had a successful career as a footballer, playing for Leicester City and Tottenham Hotspur. But since he retired in 1994, has gone on to make it as an esteemed broadcaster, despite having his fair share of run-ins with the BBC over their impartiality rules. Incredible net worth his time as a footballer, subsequent media career and advertising campaigns with Walkers have racked Gary up a staggering net worth of £30 million. He landed a job fronting match of the day, the longest-running football show in the world, which he has presented since 1999, and continues to. But has been less lucky in his love life, having been married twice and now resigning himself to single life. Gary's unusual love life Former England striker Gary married ex-wife Michelle Cocaine in 1986. They had four sons together, George, Harry, Tobias, and Angus. They separated 20 years later, when Michelle filed for divorce, citing her husband's alleged unreasonable behavior in their marriage. Three years later, Gary married Welsh model Danielle Box, who is 20 years his junior. However, they divorced in 2016 as Danielle wanted to have children and didn't think it was fair on Gary. She now has a daughter, Romy, with American lawyer husband Nate Greenwald. Gary said they are still friends, and Danielle's husband doesn't mind them being close. They were even spotted holidaying together in Ibiza together in July. He told Radio Times, has not got a jealous bone in his body. We get on really well. We go out for dinner when I'm in LA. It might be unusual and people might go, that's weird but, frankly, I don't care. What is normal? Is it better to get divorced and end up fighting, screaming and shouting? Or is it better to get on if you can? As of September this year, the Leicester City icon confirmed Hess not involved with anyone else. I'm single. I am single. He told The Times, I like being on my own. I know it sounds a bit mad. I have lots of company. I've got lots of friends and I've also got my boys. I don't feel lonely. I have the date here and there but nothing, not in terms of a long relationship. I've been married most of my adult life. Two really good marriages, am friends with both, he explained. I'm not saying whether it'll change. It might do. I don't know. But at the minute I'm very comfortable. BBC impartiality row it's not all been plain sailing for this year though, he found himself at the center of a media storm in March this year when he was asked to take a break from hosting match of the day following a tweet about the government's treatment of asylum seekers. Writing on his personal Twitter account, he likened the language used when commenting on migrants to that of Germany in the 1930s. After taking a weekend off presenting the show, he was invited back and the situation was independently reviewed, with new rules put into place. Lineker called the BBC's new policy sensible. He released a statement when he was back on Match of the Day, saying, After a surreal few days, I'm delighted that we have navigated the way through this. I want to thank you all for the incredible support particularly my colleagues at BBC Sport, for the remarkable show of solidarity. Football is a team game but their backing was overwhelming. I have been presenting sport on the BBC for almost three decades and am immeasurably proud to work with the best and fairest broadcaster in the world. I cannot wait to get back in the mod chair on Saturday. A final thought. 
however difficult the last few days have been, it simply doesn't compare to having to flee your home from persecution or war to seek refuge in a land far away. It's heartwarming to have seen the empathy towards their plight from so many of you. Online spats with Tory MPs More recently, Tory MPs have accused Gary of breaching the BBC's new social media rules, after he found himself caught up in an online row with backbencher Jonathan Gullis. Gullis criticised him for signing an open letter speaking out against the government's Rwanda bill, which was ruled unlawful by the Supreme Court in November. Defense Secretary Grant Shapps was also targeted by Lineker after he was accused of meddling in politics. Shapps said Gary should put a sock in it after speaking out about Rwanda, with Lineker responding by referring to him as for Chaps Shapps, after it was found the minister worked under pseudonyms to market get-rich-quick schemes after entering parliament. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.